game five is here. The bus has taken off. Remember, each victory royale, $25,000 in the bank in prize money. Let's get into the action. Uh, southwest to the uh, the far east, going to fly past, past Lonely Lodge there. You'll see a couple of the uh, the liquid players, pretty well known for going Wailing Woods. They'll wait till a late drop. You've got in your bottom right there, uh, Nate Hill from Faze flying in. He's looking towards Fatal Fields. Uh, but pretty much everybody, like we've seen, consistent spread. Not a whole lot of engagements. Uh, uh, like, not a whole lot of, you know, there's no more than like five or six players in a single location, even less than that, typically. Retail has a handful there. We have one, two, three, four, five. It looks like at Tilted. Two players laying on the south side there. Uh, this is back over the uh, over in Fatal Field to see. Running around. Nate's going to try and get this. This is a, an outside of Fatal Drop. Full shield, a good pickup early. He's got an AR, some bandages. Nothing, uh, I, was, I was literally about to say, nothing up close. Picks up an SMG. I'd be tossing the remote explosives. Maybe take an opportunity to pop that med kit. You're not going to have another time to do it. Gets the mini a faster use. So the mini is going to take priority. He wants to get a, any buffer he can. Tyler's in the feed, by the way, getting an elimination in there. But Bowman gets that, that mini use off. Crashy, the player pushing up here. Oh, Nice with the a little on the Bowman. Crashy's oh. got to follow us up quick because I mean, look at the health he has right now. 200 HP. That was his last build. He's got a great swap combination between that heavy shotgun and the drum gun, which still has a full clip. And there's all sorts of loot down low. Saint ex uh, dropped the rocket inside through the building, explodes. Oh, nice. So now it, it for this is from the outside. So Crashy may not realize it. That was Saint from up top of the hill. The player inside he knows is gone now, but he, he's got to try and figure out where it came from. Saints slide down for a little bit of fall damage there. This is Aiden back in Tilted Tower. Look at his first elimination. Catches Sakairos off guard, both dropping on top of the big red apartment building. Comes away with a purple AR too, which is a really good pickup, but it doesn't even matter. Look, he already has a gold AR. He's going to push inside with his chest and it, the hope for shield. And I think he just pulled one right yep. there before it got away. Maybe not Alpha pushing up against the top down on him, trying to get the jump shot. Good shot. FPS kind of layering away. He's got multiple layers there. You're basically, right at the, the perfect spot to lay a floor back up. Let me, uh, a step, lay another floor. So there's multiple, uh, multiple wood platforms being. Oh, Alpha no. Amon's get, deciding to go for it. He's trying to get the top down. He's got to hit big shots here. It's 100 HP, 100 shield on his opponent below him. It's almost to a point where like, Alpha has to hit like a snipe headshot or something. A ridiculous scenario he finds himself in. The FPS just rotating all around, bouncing. Looking for that perfect... It, 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 it's also a thing where if you're... The FPS, if you're wondering why he's kind of playing this slow, yes, he doesn't have the high ground, but he almost doesn't want to take any damage either. Right? He knows he's got a heavy advantage, but he's looking to just get that perfect opportunity. Now might be his chance. It might just be time to spray this player down, shoot that top left structure, and it might all fall. He's got a... It looks like there's two connected points. If he goes for it, which is exactly what he's going to do, he's got that... The, the arch, the half arch is all that's holding it up, and here it comes. Alpha's got to drop down and save himself with a build. Lands on top of the building, just barely got down fast enough to not take any fall damage, but he's still basically one shot at this point. One pump shot is going to be all, all it takes. Bush catches him in the corner, and there it is. First elimination for the FPS. An excellent set of plays there. Yep. Just the right time to push. Here's another side of the map. Rip mate. Not much uh, useful weaponry in his inventory. What? An 82. I take back everything wow. I've ever said. <laughs> Gadget's land dock, uh, our first winner off guard there, Takata. Right here in shifty shafts, jump around trying to get the top down on his opponent, drops in and a big hit, two, two HP left. Crashing, he does have a med kit and mini, so he's still, you know, give him give him 20 seconds, he's back to 150. No, Fade went to drop the port of fort and it actually spawned above, above him, him, so he wasn't safe. Priz is just gonna run away from that fight. What is this end, what is this own? What is this own? Literally half of it is out of play. A handful of uh, players still alive too. We have Top Boy, Gorilla, uh, Morgas, Rio, Struggs, Takata, and Tylers, who are all sitting at two eliminations apiece, which means one fo one more for each one of them uh, is uh, is a point for this game. And every single point counts. It could be the, the difference between uh, you know the uh, 21st through 100 placement prize of 5,000. You got to remember, everybody comes away with 5,000 if they made it to the grand finals, which is huge. But a single point could push you up in the top 20, and that could be massive. A lasering Takata establishes his... Uh, Animal who actually got that limb. That's now five for him. Two-point game for Animal. It was Saf gets the FPS in the feed there. 
Oh, it's Nick, Nick Merckx out of the zone. Oh, clap, literally immediately clapping here uh, at PAX for Nick. Mars City is eliminated by the storm there in the feed, you see. It's kind of a stalemate here at the edge of the circle. Movement's going to have to happen before too long, and both of these players are established in their little box. They have a minute 20. You have plenty of time to make a decision. Nick could drop his, uh, his campfire, too. This is Tyler's and Triz back in the bottom floor, tilted, hanging outside the zone, trying to just peek for that quick shot, and he gets Triz through the top window of that door. He was so far into the zone still. Over to Rio now, spraying that LMG, swapping the scar, and whoa. Gets the one bullet to connect. That's all he needed. Knew he was weak. And that's three eliminations for Rio, which gives him a point for this game. They like 40% of it is over the water right now. This is yep. Aiden's second elimination. And right on the coast right here. Cast is a player. It's Emad. We watched that just a second ago. We commented on Emad establishing a double there on uh, and so that was, Chris. That was Emad who got a double, but then he eliminated Emad, meaning three players worth of loot was there. So now he's added a ton of materials, shields, and a legendary compact SMG to his inventory. I don't think Aiden picks it up unless it's uh, unless it's legendary at right? this point. Uh, apparently, that kid is insane. It's like everything gets that gets dropped in front of him upgrades out of the person's inventory. Multiple players underneath them making quite Seize a bit of noise. Just eliminated his teammate Brandon. Tempo going for a fast out of the side window there. Aiden with another elimination. I believe that that will put him at three, right? All these players are looking at right now. It's time to move. Here are those clingers. Way earlier on, that was Crunch who got the pitch on the sack. But this next zone, half of it is on one of the tallest mountains in the game. The other is on one of the lowest valleys. So high ground going to be everything here. Here comes a nice little build engagement. Cease dropping down the remote explosive, but gets shot in the back. He tunnel visions on replays and pays the ultimate price. Uh, C4 is si still sitting up top, so you got to be careful. Nobody else, uh, literally everything. This is Cease from earlier on. Saw it. Brandon building on up and whiffs the hunting rifle shot, but thankfully for him, Brandon gets quickly cut down. And then I think there was a second player here. I believe that's more Doss hunting underneath him. Earlier when I take the shot. Also, the same, the same hunting rifle shot, just barely missing again. One of those is going to pay out, but he clips more Goss on the rotation. Talk about just me. over the build, too. Here's Asteria, zero limbs so far. Nick Merckx has eliminated Tenpo. That puts Nick Merckx at four elims. That's at least one point. And right one more elim, that put him at five. Asteria lasers down Aiden. And look okay. at Aiden got, I think got a little scared by that. Ooh. Nick now at four elims. Has a point on the board. Nick's got a ton of family here this weekend. It's funny, keeping an eye on his dad every time uh, Nick gets in a fight. I got eyes on him. And he's listening to uh, Neo, actually, someone who, you know, you know, from Nick's streams, they game a lot together. Neo's telling him every little bit that's going on, making sure he knows exactly where he stands. He got blessed by this next zone, too. Nick, though, only 49 woods. He's got four builds total. Uh, it's a cease from earlier who was just putting on an excellent show. But Nate Hill, look at this, hiding in the shadows up here and takes shots at cease. The, uh, the tunnel vision did kind of caught cease off guard there. Nate Hill took advantage of it. I think Merck's place at four limbs, three he, builds he left right now. He can stay hidden here for so long, though. This is actually, a, it's an excellent spot for him to be in Bizzle on the rotation. See, player, this is, this might be the most spread we've seen the field for qu in quite a while. I think a lot of it's the verticality left. of the mountain. Look at how awkward yeah. this is, trying to build on up. I love this camera shot right here. Great stuff production. Sean, like. cat, Sean was taking, catching Carosa on the, on the rotation, up the stairs, off yep. guard, he's hiding in like a little side chamber there. Time for Bizzle from Ghost Gaming to move up as well. A lot of these players, they're going to decide when to rotate. And it looks like more players are going earlier than we've seen in the past. Oftentimes, we see a lot of players deciding to wait till the last second. But it's because, like you said, the verticality is deciding that right now you need to move. Because you, not only do you have to build forward, you got to build up. Tifu still in this game as well, alongside Jomok. Replays in Sinful caught at the bottom. This is going to be a yep. fight to stay ahead of the storm and ahead of their opponent. I feel like both of them are going to get a limb right here. Nick Merckx sitting four of them go maybe looking for his fifth right now, listening. He doesn't have any builds left, so he's chasing. He's going to spray the wall down and catch his Rex inside his own box. That's two points for Nick Merckx. Top 20 left. He makes it to top 10. That's another point soon. He does have, and he's got a med kit. That was a smart play from Nick. He goes to pick up the opponent's grenade launcher. He had zero ammo in his grenade launcher, but Nick was hoping that if he picked up the other grenade launcher there, that there might have been some ammo still left in the clip. Unfortunately for him, there was none, but a sign of a smart player as, oh my goodness. Hysteria. If he gets sneezed on right now, I think he's eliminated from this one. 
I think if Nick flexes his traps, Hysteria's character would, uh... Here go. comes the zone move. Rio launch pads up to the high ground. Nick Merck's having to go. Bounce pad time as he's going to try to keep up with the zone. Oh, he's going all the way to the low ground with barely any builds left. Nick's on six eliminations right now, by yeah. the way. One more would put him at seven. That's three points. He's got two points already from this game. Here Rio with the fight. Sean trades out battling. You see Strong's now d down. Nate Hill's still in this one as well. Nick Merckx with another elimination on That's base seven. soldier. I think that puts Nick at seven eliminations. Three-point game for Nick Merckx as this is going to move him way An up the scoreboard now. Game now. Another he's... elimination from Nick. That's Tifu down. Top A statement game from Nick Merckx. And he's got medkits to use. Nick Merckx can win this game. Heavy, super low HP. You've got a whole ton of players above him, and he's sitting pretty down at the bottom. He's get, he might have the ability to rotate along the edge of the storm. You see with the, the location on the minimap, it's going to carry all the way along the base. And he catches Another somebody player. on the way down. He's trying to, trying he to go for materials. elim number nine. He needs these materials. Every elimination from here on out is Can icing on the cake. He's going to push if he needs he's got to go a little bit. He's got seven builds left. Players just inside. He doesn't realize he's to his left. Nick can only build seven walls. He's already earned himself four points this game. He's got to save those for moving up the hill. Yep. He can't waste too much of them right here. Luckily, he's got a little bit of defense here. Somebody already built wood. He's got to move up, though. He can't stay down on the bottom because he's about to be outside the zone. Now's oh, the time, no. Nick. you got to move. Oh, no. Get inside. Look, he get can't... inside. Here we go. Nick, he's in. Solid play. Excellent job staying inside. But he's got players all over. No! Nick Merck slides down the mountain. No builds left. It's over. Five players left alive right now. And 72, 72 hours. Nate Hill, Mac, oh. Pobsey. Top five situation. Nate Hill already in a brilliant position. Spot oh, 72, 72 hours. hours. That's a free limb, which gives him another point. Remember, if he makes it to the top three, he earns another Nate Hill, who is already in our top five. Might be making a move up the leaderboards, folks. Four players left. He's got no builds, so he's got to use whatever he can for cover. Look at look at the height difference. So Mac is done. That's top three. Another point earned for our remaining players. Poves, he's got no builds left. So he's going to get dropped on down. He's got a player right underneath him. Bolt but, all the way up top. Look at that. Nate Hill dish. 1v1 situation. Nate Hill still left alive, and Bolt's got the top down on everybody. He might even have an opportunity. He, just, but he, he's layering up. He's he going for a he heal off. He can't drop, though. He might be able to fall down to that next level, but if Nate's able to heal on up a little bit, I'm not sure exactly what Nate has. He can maybe shoot him down. Right now is the perfect time for, for him to just hang out up top. He's at 95, which means he can start the med kit before the zone closes all the way. He doesn't have to push for, for the elimination Nate, on Nate. Th 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 there's, there's five seconds left. Nate's going to have to try to spray down whatever he can. Bolt Naga can build out one Bolt. more structure. He's got zero limbs this game. He's been playing for the Victory Royale. He's got a medkit he can heal with. You see he position. He's about to position himself yep. on the line. The seam between the two Nate's in case one keep gets spraying. knocked out. Nate has to keep spraying. He cannot let this go to a heal off. He knows it as well. He's got to keep spraying. Nate, the game potentially slipping out of his hands. He needs to keep spraying the structure above. Nope. He's not going to be able to out heal him. This one's done. He's not going to be able to outheal. He does not have a med kit. This should be a heal off in favor of Bolt Naga. It's going to come down to the wire. Nate spraying, doing whatever he can, but it's not enough. Zero eliminations, but playing with no materials, like you said, he's a player that will take, he'll use everything that he has or everything that he doesn't have. See this moment to right do here. Do everything that he can. It's right just, there. Yeah, I think the option at this point was just to continue spraying. Granted, it's metal. It's going to take quite see, a while. He had to, to reload. Look, so he took three extra ticks just to reload. I'm pretty sure he does at this point. There it is. Morgoth still in that top spot, but Nate Hill inching on up. But the big move coming on in, which there it is. Eighth spot, Nick Merckx moving on up. Point total all the way down three places past that too, but he has the, he got the victory. You have to remember uh, a no elimination victory is he still made it through a field of 98 incredibly, incredibly good players. And here we go to the prizing now. Remember top 20 begin to earn that extra amount of cash. Hysteria right now the odd man out on the 21st spot.